Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Your sleepy good morning greetings. Hey, Shabby, come on. Okay, well, it's the weekend already. It's Friday today, July 10, 2020. Um, it's the birthday of uh, uh, um, Tita Normi. Um, wish you have a very nice birthday today. Uh, hopefully, um, you're able to enjoy your day. Don't work too much today. It's your birthday. <laughs> okay, so let's do the gospel commentary for today's uh, Mass. Today's Mass um, takes the gospel from St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. We're still on that portion of St. Matthew's Gospel where Jesus gives instructions to his apostles that he had sent out to preach. Okay? So today Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about what you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given that at the moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Let's, let's pause there and consider what we have just read. Behold, I am sending you. I am sending you, Jesus says. Right? Like sheep in the midst of wolves. I am sending you. You and I, all of us are being sent by Jesus. Notice the use of the words, I am sending you. The authority, <clears throat> the commission to go out into the world and, and um, Christianize society is a commissioning by God himself. I am sending you. We are sent, you and I, all of us, all of us, Catholics, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> by virtue of our baptism, okay, by virtue of being clothed with the, with the dignity of the children of God, that we are all called uh, and, and bestowed in uh, that sacramental grace of baptism have received the same commission from our lord the same the same way that the apostles received their commission to go out into the world make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit okay? these were the words of our lord upon ascending into heaven but as early as while he was with them he gave them instructions to go out into the world, right? And announce the kingdom of God. But here he's warning them and telling them, but I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. What does that mean? When you're in the middle of a wolf pack, you just imagine, of course, our Lord is using all the imagery of, of, the, uh, of the situation of his day, right? Uh, he He... Uh, in those days, um, there were there were herdsmen of of uh, of sheep, of cattle, and things like that. And our Lord using the image of the good shepherd, okay? So sheep, shepherd, and the pack of wolves that might attack the sheep. The good shepherd has to take care of the sheep, right? So our Lord is using the same imagery all throughout here and telling us that we can be like sheep, being hounded by wolves all around us. Okay? And our Lord is warning us about that, that environment where he is sending us to evangelize, that environment where he is sending us 
to, to announce the kingdom of God to people. It is an environment filled with packs of wolves. It's a tough place. The world is a tough place. The world is a tough environment. And that is why we have to be, our Lord said, even if we are sheep, we have to be shrewd as serpents. Shrewd as serpents. What, is, what, is, what does it mean to be shrewd? You don't know? Give it a look up the dictionary. Huh? We don't know what shrewd means? Huh? To be mean? Not quite. <laughs> uh, maybe to be mean in a good, in good way. way. Okay? Because, because shrewdness here means, uh, in the context of this gospel, uh, and in the context of what our Lord wants us to understand, is the shrewdness here means to be keen, to be, to be sharp, to be discerning of, of, of what's around you. Okay? To be shrewd here means to be, to be smart, to be smart about how to conduct yourselves in the middle of the world. So in other words, don't be, don't be uh, sheep in the sense of, you know, you're just going to allow the wolves to devour you. No, it's not that kind of meekness. Our Lord wants us to balance things, right? We have to be meek and kind and gentle, maybe, okay, but shrewd like serpents, okay? wise, okay? discerning, smart about the world around you. Why? Because it's a tough world to be in. Especially nowadays, you kids are growing up in an environment that, that is very tough. And you already know that, right? You, you already see, uh, we, we are not, we are not uh, in a cocoon here uh, 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 or in a bubble where we are not involved with the things going on around us, right? Just look at, the look at what's going on now in this whole uh, uh, society we are in, right? We, we see what's in the news. We talk about it here in the dining table all the time. It's a tough world. But God, Jesus himself is telling us, I am sending you there. That is the world I am sending you in. That is the world I want you to convert. That is the world I expect you to announce to, okay, uh, about the kingdom of God. What comes to mind is St. Uh, Pius X. You know the motto of St. Pius X's uh, papacy is instaurare omnia in Cristo. Instaurare omnia in Cristo. When he became Pope, he said, to restore all things in Christ. Restore, bring, bring society, bring the world back to Christ, bring the whole creation back at the foot of Jesus Christ. In other words, we are being called to sanctify the world. We are being called to sanctify our environment. We are being called to help in the sanctification of souls. This is a big mission. This is a very, very big mission that we are all called to do by virtue of our baptism. Okay? And don't think that, oh, uh, I, I have to be a priest to do that, or I have to be a pope to do that, or I have to be a, 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 a superman to be able to convert the world. No, you don't. The only thing you need to be is a saint wherever you are a saint wherever you are a saint here at home to begin with because this is your environment at home you have to be a saint at home you have to bring christ to the others at home to your siblings right and we know how to do that in many ways right? beginning from the way we deal with each other to the way you do your chores the way you do your schoolwork you have to be a saint in all of those instances. That is, that is part of our mission. That is part of our calling. That's part of our vocation. Before we even go out into the wider circles of the world around us. Right? So from the home, to our neighbors, to our work environments, to our parishes, our churches. Okay? 
and to the rest of the world. Whatever we can influence, that is what, that is the environment that we are being called to evangelize in. That is the environment we're being called to sanctify. Okay? So all of us, all of you can do that in your own little way. And besides, besides trying to influence your environment, it is also to pray for your environment, to pray for people around you, to pray for people you interact with, to pray for people who disagree with you, to pray for people you love. Right? This is the way we're going to influence the environment around us. This is the way we're going to sanctify everything around us. And, you know, you're witnessing very much what's happening in today's world, right? From this pandemic to this uh, to government uh, impositions that uh, sometimes you don't agree with, uh, to, to the closure of churches and to the way our bishops and priests have reacted to this pandemic, which are all very sorry and, uh, and sad situations, see? Uh, in fact, I think this gospel today is very apropos to remind our clergy, right? You have been sent <laughs> a sheep in the midst of wolves, in the midst of wolves. Uh, and, 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 and if it is a reminder to all our clergy, especially our bishops, our Lord here is saying you will be brought before governors, <laughs> before kings uh, who are going to persecute you, right? going to persecute you. This is exactly what's going on today in our world. Uh, the question is, how have we lived up to the demands of our Lord, to the commissioning of our Lord, sending us like sheep in the midst of wolves? Have we been shrewd as serpents? Or have we remained sheepish and just uh, <laughs> kowtowing to political pressure? I'd like to remind our, uh, our good bishops that uh, the apostles died for their faith, fighting governments, fighting governments uh, in defense of the faith, in defense of Jesus Christ. They didn't hide under their long cossacks. <laughs> no, they did not. They did not approve of the closure of the Catholic churches, even during their time. They did not. They fought to the death. To defend the right of the faithful to the sacraments and the liturgy. But you see, my children, it doesn't have to take bishops alone to fight for the church and to fight for Jesus Christ. Each of us are called to do that in whatever environment we are in. But what virtue do we need for this? We need number one, fortitude, right? We need courage. Okay, courage. We need the courage to fight for our Lord. We need the courage to fight for our rights. We need the courage that is born out of love for God. Not just the courage or the fortitude of, of a macho. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fight all of you. No, no, no. That's not, that's not what our Lord wants us to exhibit here. He wants us to exhibit the courage and the fortitude of somebody who loves Jesus Christ deeply. And because of that love and that faith in Jesus will defend the honor of Jesus Christ regardless of whatever obstacles there might be. The second virtue that we need to understand and live by here is the virtue of perseverance. The environment that our Lord is throwing us in it's a tough environment and we need to trudge on. We need to keep fighting. We need to keep working on this, on this environment until we're able to restore it back to Christ. We need to do what we, we, we can, given our capacities, given what God has bestowed on us as far as talents is concerned, to work in this environment. And restore it back to Christ the way St. Pius X encouraged us through his motto. Instaurare omnia in Christo. But we need to do that with perseverance, with courage, courage and perseverance. These two virtues are very important in allowing us to, to sanctify this world. But that all begins with ourselves. 
we need to sanctify ourselves. Okay? And then from ourselves, we work on our siblings at home, and our parents and our family at home, until we go out into the wider circles of our society. Okay? So that is the message of today's gospel, which I hope we think about very seriously, especially, very especially during these days that we are going through this uh, pandemic situation. This is actually a very appropriate time to exhibit that vocational baptismal calling that we all receive from God and the commissioning that we have been sent to do in the middle of the world. Question is, how are we standing up for all of this? Okay, that's it for us, folks. Have a good day. Have a good weekend ahead of you. Uh, hope to see you next week. Bye. Bye.